So let's see a Pythagoras theorem, the most familiar theorem in mathematics. Most of them know what a Pythagoras theorem is. Immediately when I say Pythagoras theorem, the, the only thing which strikes in mind is a right angled triangle. So the Pythagoras theorem has been resolved with many historical facts in mathematics with different mathematicians coming out with different proofs and Pythagoras was one such person who has attempted on finding the proof of the theorem using his own methods. So let's see one of the, the theorem which is connected with similarity of triangles or one of the method of proving the Pythagoras theorem is using similar triangles which is quite easy. The Pythagoras theorem which is also called Baudayan theorem is to be proved using similar triangles the similarity concept of the triangles used in Pythagoras theorem. So let's see what the statement of Pythagoras theorem says. The statement of the Pythagoras theorem says that in a right angled triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of other two sides. Two sides. That is, when I square the hypotenuse and when I square the other two sides, then the sum of when the other two sides which are squared are added, I get back the square of the hypotenuse. So all the three sides of the right angle triangle are very much associated with the square of hypotenuse equal to sum of squares of other two sides. Is what is Pythagoras theorem or the Baudayan theorem states about. So for doing the proof, let's consider a right angled triangle. Now here I have a right angle triangle where one of the angle being 90 for right angle triangle then this is called the hypotenuse and these are the other two sides therefore if I take the right angle triangle ABC BC is the hypotenuse and the other two sides are AB and AC and the Pythagoras theorem states that BC square which is the square of the hypotenuse is sum of squares of other two sides that is AB square plus AC square is what is the Pythagoras theorem or the Baudayan theorem states about. So let's see how we can prove this using similarity of triangles connected with Pythagoras theorem or Baudayan theorem. So let me take a triangle ABC right angled at B because it's a right angle triangle. I consider one of the angle as 90 degrees. In this case, the right angle or the 90 degrees assumed at vertex B. So in the given part, of the statement let ABC be a right angle triangle triangle with angle B equal to 90 degrees that is I consider the right angle at angle B therefore I have the diagram in this form This would be 90, where this is A, B, and C, right angled at B. Now, for this right angle triangle A, B, C, I would need to prove where the hypotenuse, because the right angle is at B, my hypotenuse would be opposite to 90 degrees. That is, A, C is the hypotenuse, and the other two sides are A, B, and B, C. Therefore, in this case, the thing what I need to prove here is that square of hypotenuse which stands as AC, AC square equals the other two sides which are AB and BC, AB square plus BC square. So this is the Pythagoras theorem or the Baudayan theorem which I need to prove for this triangle ABC right angled at B. Now the construction here is 
that I drop a perpendicular from B onto AC. So when a perpendicular is dropped, this is how I get some D, where BD is perpendicular to AC. So construction is drop a perpendicular from B to AC such that BD is perpendicular to AC as can be clearly seen in the diagram. So with this given and the construction, let's see how we can proceed with the proof in order to prove that AC square equals AB square plus BC square to continue with the proof. Now, in the initial part of the proof, I consider the triangles ABD and the entire triangle ABC and show that they are similar triangles. Therefore, considering triangles ABD and triangle ABC, let's see if these two triangles are similar. Now, as I take these two triangles, initially, let me start with angle A equals angle A because it's a common angle since every angle is equal to itself by law of nature the common angle holds true for being inequality. Now angle ADB which is 90 degrees and angle ABC which is also 90 degrees are also equally the same that is angle ADB equals angle ABC which is 90 degrees because each of them is 90 degrees as assumed through the perpendicular and given. Now with this therefore I can say by double A similarity if two of the angles are equal then by double A similarity I have triangle ABD is similar to triangle ABC. By double A similarity I can say triangle ABD is similar to triangle ABC. Now since these two triangles are similar by double A similarity criterion for similarity of triangles, I can say that their corresponding sides are in same ratio because the definition of similar triangle says that when two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are in same ratio. Therefore, this triangle similar to the whole triangle implies AB of this triangle by the whole of because this is opposite to 90 then the whole AB is the side opposite to 90 degrees of this triangle so AC is the side opposite to 90 degrees of the whole triangle so AC is the corresponding side of AB is how we say the corresponding sides are in same ratio so AB and AC are the corresponding sides for this triangle and the whole triangle opposite to 90 and opposite to 90 both of them now similarly if I take one of the side as say for example I take this as AD then for the smaller triangle it is AD and for this it is BC or AB is what I get in case of this because if I take one of them as AD then this triangle besides one of the adjacent side being AD will be the side AB for the complete triangle ABC is what I get when I take the corresponding sides in same ratio. So when I cross multiply I get this to be AB square equals AC times AD is what I get. Yes. Now let me take this as equation 1 which I have obtained from the triangle this and this which are similar. Similarly, I can show that the triangle BDC and ABC are similar with the same properties of common angle and 90 degrees by double A similarity. Proceeding in the similar manner, I can say that also triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC that implies by using the same properties, I get this similarity which implies that when two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are in same ratio. Therefore, I get this here. By taking this, I get BC of this triangle which is opposite to 90 by 
AC will be equal to the side AC if I take here then this would be equal to DC of this triangle by AB of or the BC of this triangle is what we get. If the corresponding sides are in same ratio then if I take the smaller triangle BC of this which is opposite to 90 its corresponding side would be AC which is opposite to 90 of the whole triangle. So BC by AC will be equal to DC by BC which is for two different triangles taken in corresponding sides. Therefore when I take this I have in cross multiplication BC square is AC times DC which is equation 2 is what I get. Now what I do is I add equations 1 and 2 to see what I get as the outcome. So let's add equation 1 and 2 and see what is the outcome. Therefore adding equations 1 and 2 I observe that when I add my left hand side becomes AB square plus BC square and the right hand side gets in as AC times AD plus AC times DC is what I get on adding on the left hand sides and the right hand sides of equations 1 and 2. Now this by taking AC common because I find this to be common in both the terms I get inside the bracket AD plus DC is what comes inside and when I see this in with respect to the triangle I clearly see that AD plus DC on the whole gives me AC because AD and DC join to form AC. Therefore, this can be substituted for AC times AC as can be seen from the straight line segment. D divides AC. Therefore, AD plus DC is entirely AC. Now, in this case, this is AC squared which gives me AB squared plus BC squared because AC times AC is AC squared. Therefore, rearranging this, I find AC squared is AB squared plus BC squared, which is nothing but the statement of the Pythagoras theorem. The square of the hypotenuse is sum of squares of other two sides. Hence, Pythagoras theorem is proved. is proved in case of the right angled triangle, Pythagoras theorem or the Baudian theorem.